So far in the tutorials, we've shown you how to sync Unreal to Unreal, or Maya to Maya. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to make an Unreal server and connect to the Maya client. And we will also show you how to make a Maya server and connect as an Unreal client. So over here on the left, I'm going to name myself Unreal Server. And I'm going to start up a server in Beehive. Next, I want to open up the map or maps, which I want to sync into the Beehive database. Upon opening a map, Beehive will ask you if you want to automatically add this into the database. You can go ahead and say no, and we can do it manually later. Here in the unsynced tab, you can see the three maps which are not loaded into the Beehive database, but are opened currently. I'm going to go ahead and right click and synchronize each one of these maps into the database. Each one will take a different amount of time depending on how many assets and materials are in each map. Now that all three maps are loaded into the database, you can see that over here on the right, I can connect as a client over here in Maya using the correct address and port. Upon connecting, you'll see all the connected maps, and you'll be unable to join them until the button is enabled. You can see here, I'm now able to join one of the three maps. Let's choose Milton's room. By selecting a static mesh in the outliner and pressing F on the keyboard, we can move our camera to the objects in the scene. You'll see in the background my Unreal server can be spotted. Let's go ahead and repeat that process in Unreal now, moving the avatar selecting the object and pressing F on the keyboard. I feel my Unreal Server avatar is too large, so I'm going to turn down the avatar scaling. Moving over to the left side now, you'll see that the two scenes don't seem to match up. This is because Unreal is rendering an extra scene. If we disable that scene, you can see that the two engines are displaying similar content. Now let's see how to do this process in Maya. Over here on the left, I have an empty Unreal scene. Over on the right, I am opening up a Maya file located in my Maya project. After I have opened my scene in Maya, I can click Start Server. Now that the server is started, I need to push the scene into the database. I can use that using the Sync Current Scene button. You can now see the Maya server is editing and has pushed this example project. Over here in Unreal, I can join as a client using the same IP and port. You'll see here all the mesh is now being pushed over and being built in Unreal. We can now see that there's a synced scene and the Maya server is editing it. We have no unsynced scenes here at all. Now just because a scene has been synced does not mean it is automatically open. Now that the scene has synced, we can go and find it in our content folder. That will be under scenes. Double clicking the level will open it up just like any other map inside of Unreal. That concludes the tutorial today. Thank you for joining us.